Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with... Katie Eakin. Katie Eakin, one of Santa Cruz's favorite musicians. So, I want to know, Katie, we're going to sing a song coming up, or you're going to sing a song, not me. You do not want to hear me sing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I do have a good deep voice, but um, <laughs> what, what drew you to be a musician? Like, were you, like, as a kid, were you, like, you know, singing, in, like, in the living room in front of your parents? Like, how did oh. this start? Uh, no, I was not singing in front of my parents. <laughs> I was really shy as a kid, okay. like terribly shy, but um, my dad was a musician and so oh. I grew up watching him play in a band and he'd play guitar and write songs and I loved that. But um, yeah, no, I was painfully shy and I like to sing so I joined choir in junior high to kind of get over that stage fright and that really helps. Nice. So what excites you about being a musician? Because it's not an easy career. I mean, like we talked about it. Yeah, there's so many, like, it's such an uphill battle. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, there must be a reason why you do it, because you're still doing it, and you're still creating music, and you're still performing. Why? Why do you do it? <laughs> um, Because I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. But it is hard. It's always an uphill battle. It's a roller coaster. And I was telling you before, yeah. like, it's so emotional being such a creative person that when you're in this sort of business that's a little cutthroat, it can be difficult to navigate those emotions and work through it. But if you love what you're doing, I think it's completely worth it at the end of the day. So So what is your like your favorite part about being a musician? Is it the recording? Is it the performing? Is it the release of the single? Like <laughs> what is it? Oh, I love all of those things. And I think my favorite has changed over the 10 years that I've been pursuing it. Um, right now, I think songwriting and the actual recording process are my favorite things to do. Okay. Yeah. I wonder why that's changed, just because maybe you've perfected that skill more and compared to like, because I mean, it's probably is a skill that you have to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's so cathartic writing um, and being in a process watching like what you wrote turn into something more yeah. is so special and so exciting and um, it's really a process like the song changes over the whole course of the recording and uh, mastering and mixing and everything like that but I do love performing and that used to be my favorite thing but it's just it yeah. changes I think it's so cool it's like I mean, making a song it's like you're creating something out of complete nothing mm -hmm. and now it's like this <laughs> out there in the world yeah so talking about that, let's let's play a song. What All song right. are you gonna sing? Uh, this is a new one called "Can't Believe You're Mine." Okay. There's that sweet, sweet sound of your alarm going round and round. I take a break. Breathe you in another early start. The waking in your arms, it's worth the mornings we wake up in the dark. You're the reason there's a rushing in my heart. You're worth the long days, every mile that I drive. You're worth it all. I just can't believe you're Couple minutes more That's all I need with you You pull me close And hold on tight You're worth the mornings We wake up in the dark You're the reason There's a rushing in my heart You're worth the long day Every mile that I drive, you're worth it all I just can't believe you're mine Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Thank so you. So what was the name of that song again? Can't Believe You're Mine. 
And you said it's a new song, so is it like available for people to actually like listen to yet or not yet? Not yet, uh, but it's it's on my Instagram. Okay. Like it's the first uh, one minute of it. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when would when, when would like the world hear this song? When again the whole thing? When? Well, I have uh, two singles that I just released, and there's two more coming after that. Okay. But I'm in the process of planning my next EP, and yeah. that one should be, be on, on it. So okay. hopefully by the end of this year. Okay, so we have to wait a, a six months or just a plus or bit. some. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you have other music, of course. If uh, God, I know that after they heard that song, if they haven't heard of you already, um, where can they go find your music? Uh, you can find me anywhere online, uh, katieeken.com, Instagram slash katieeken, and that's K-A-T-I-E-E-K-I-N. Okay. Nice, okay. <laughs> Nike backwards. Yeah. And like YouTube, and you have a oh, YouTube yeah. channel. I have and all the social media yeah. stuff. Okay, so look for Katie Eakin. You'll definitely find her. Um, and you had a sneak peek. You got to hear the song at this video. So we'll put all <laughs> the links on the bottom for you as well to follow you. So anyway, thank you so much. Again, we love you as a performer in Santa Cruz and um, look forward to the EP and all the other stuff you do in the future. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.